of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Growing in Grace with you, Mrs. Anne Mareka. Today is Monday, the 10th of August, 2020, 19th week in Ordinary Time. Today we have uh, an alternative reading from the, uh, from, uh, because of the memorial of uh, St. Lawrence, Deacon, and Martyr. And I have chosen, I will reflect on the alternative reading. Today the readings ought to have been from Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 2 to 5, then 24 to 28, and the responsorial psalm from Psalm 148, and the gospel reading from the gospel of Matthew 17, 22 to 27. But the alternative readings are taken from, the first reading is taken from the second book of Corinthians chapter 9, from verse 6 to 10, and the responsorial psalm has been taken from Psalm 1, 112. And the gospel of this uh, alternative uh, reading is taken from the gospel of John, chapter 12, verse 24 to 26. And I will read from the gospel. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just as a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, today uh, I chose to meditate on the memorial of St. Lawrence. St. Lawrence was a deacon, and he was martyred because of his faith, because of his firmness, firmness for the issues of faith. From the first reading, from the second book of Corinthians, chapter 9, 6, the word of God says, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as, as already determined without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And from the gospel, we are called to dying, you know, to dying from our selfishness, dying from our sins, dying from our anger, dying from being neglecting, neglecting our fellow men and also neglecting the environment around us. From the first reading from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 6 to, to 10, I want to, to dwell on the, on the verse that says, reminds us, the Lord loves a cheerful giver. We need to give without whining, without complaining. Let our giving not bring sorrow or sadness to us. From the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verse 24 and 26, the word of God says, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just as a grain of wheat. If it dies, then it produces much fruit. We are all in this planet Earth. This is our ground. That is my meditation. We are all here in the midst of the pleasures, in the midst of everything that the world offers. We need to die to the greed of the things, the wealth, the possessions of this world, and be able to be kind, to be able to, to die to that selfishness, to that hunger for power and fame and money, and be able to lend our hand to those who do not have anything. How do we compare ourselves with a grain of wheat? If we die from hatred, anger, malice, and unforgiveness, then we share. We share the, the seed that comes out of it. 
the seed of mercy, the seed of love and the seed of compassion will grow in us. The grain, the grain of kindness will go, grow in us. We shall be able to bless those in need with what we have. We shall rejoice when extending our hand in the, to the needy around us. We shall sow bountifully with joy. We will lavishing, lavishly, lavishly give to the poor. We will be able to share our material and spiritual gifts. We shall be able to connect so easily with those who are in need and to them. From the responsorial Psalm, Psalm 112, verse 1 and 2, then 5 and 6, 7 and 8 and 9. That is the responsorial of this day, of this alternative reading. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. That is the responsorial Psalm. Are we ready? Are we gracious? Are we, are we going to be considered gracious? The word of God says in the responsorial psalm, lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The Lord glorifies us when we remember the poorest of the poor in our society. We shall be there for the most vulnerable especially for, from our own homes. Most of, the, most of the times when we run out there because we want to be seen, because we want to be glorified by man. But in secret, the Lord invites us to go out there, starting from our own relatives. Some of us, our own relatives are suffering. They don't even have a meal, especially now when this COVID-19 is, is here with us, which has rendered so many people jobless and others have no hope. Are we looking and, you know, bountifully sharing the talents that Lord has given us? A smile to these people, an encouraging word. Even the word of God says in James chapter 2 that faith without action is dead. What are we doing? There is no one who will claim that they are poor. They have nothing to offer. Even people who live in the slums, the poor, the poorest of the poor, you know, everywhere they are, they also have those who share the little that they have. So there's no excuse that we do not have anything that we need to share. The word of God says in Proverbs chapter 19 verse 17, whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord and he will reward them for what they have done. When you look at your feast, I always look at my feast, when I keep it closed completely like this, how will somebody sneak even one shilling in my feast, on my feast? The Lord is inviting us to open up our hands when we open up our hands and lend to the poor and share what we have, however little it is, then the Lord is able to give us what, uh, is able to see that our hands have already given out and he will reward us. We shall get a hundred folds. Let us open our hands and op also open our hearts, hearts to kindness, hearts to encourage the poor, hearts to be there for them, hearts to be compassionate to them, hearts that have pity on the poor, even a mere sharing of a smile to encourage someone, a soul, is something that can give somebody hope for tomorrow. The memorial of St. Lawrence, he was a deacon and martyr. St. Lawrence was martyred by a Roman emperor for the sake of Christ. He was tortured and he was chained, and, uh, chained around a grill and they roasted him to death, little flesh by little flesh. And the Lord strengthened him in his faith. He died as a martyr. When he was burning, he was full of joy. When he was being roasted, he even cracked jokes and would say, please come and turn me the other side. I think this is done. And we know how he died. He just said, I think I'm well cooked now. And he expired but he expired victoriously because of standing for faith. The emperor went to the church and wanted the treasury of the church. He even went and sold the most expensive vessels in the church and gave the money to the poor. 
And when the emperor came to ask for the money for the treasury of the church, he had invited, collected, gathered together all the sick people and the poor people. And when the emperor saw that act, bringing the poor as the treasure of the church, bringing the sick people as the most treasured people in the church, he got so angered and that's how he died as a martyr, being roasted like Nyamachoma and uh, he perished but with joy, knowing that it was not in vain that he died for Christ. It's a call for all of us, my dear brothers and sisters, to stand firm. It's a call for us to lend to the poor, as the word of God says in Proverbs 19, 17, that when you lend to the poor, you will get a reward from the Lord. It is like you, it is considered that you are lending to the Lord. Let us be merciful today. Let us look around our, us, the, our colleagues in the office. So many things are happening right now. The hopelessness, the masks that are never out of our faces. Those ones are already a terror to every one of us. We need to go down to our knees and pray. Pray that the Lord would wipe away this pandemic from the face of the earth. And I will conclude with the word of God in Galatians chapter two, chapter six, verse two. The word of God says, carry each other's burdens and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. The Lord is so merciful. He knows everything that we have. Even when we want to give, when we want to offer, when we want to, to, to sow our seeds sparingly or bountifully, he already knows what we have. He will, reward, he will reward us. If you have one packet of wunga and your neighbor doesn't have, please share. Reduce your meal for that night and the Lord will remember you in a very special way. Be encouraged in Christ Jesus. And we pray. Lord, we pray that we may continue walking in your will, that we may do that which you have called to do, us to do because of your holy will. We pray all this through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.